so how are you guys doing today my name is Kryptonic, and today i'm going to be telling you guys how i make my thumbnails on photoshop so if you guys do end up enjoying the video remember to leave a like and a comment down below and without further ado let's get straight into the video so practically this is my own thumbnail template that i have but i'm going to be showing you guys how to start off new so you guys go over to the top and you go to file new and you're going to want to make your width uh, 1280 and then go down to height and you're gonna want to make that a 720 I can't even spell properly so that's gonna be a 720 and then you're gonna click OK and once you have this this is all you're gonna have a white background and from here all you want to do is you're gonna want to of course get an image of what you want so I already have a tab open for Google and this is already on GTA 5 so I select this picture and I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool shadow effect that I never really learned, which is really frustrating. So this is a 1280 by 720p uh, Photoshop file. So this picture is a 1920 by 1080. So all we're going to want to do is just control T and we're just going to want to minimize that and make it fit within the border. Once we have that inside the border, you guys can see that it works well and it fits normally. And all you guys want to do, if you guys want to have this really cool shadow effect, all you guys want to do is just copy that put the fill to zero and then click enter and then you're going to want to go into inner shadow once you go to inner shadow you're going to want to do exactly what i do set this to 80 once you set this to 80 put this to zero and put this to about a 80 and then once you guys have that you guys will see that there's like bordering effects so all you want to do is to zoom out again and then control t on the one that you just did and then you guys want to zoom it out a bit more, like get it, in, you know, center it. You know what I'm talking about. Once you get this going, you know, you don't have to necessarily follow exactly everything here. It just comes down to preference. And as you guys can see, you guys will have a really neat border around your thumbnail, making it seem kind of dimensional. I don't know. It looks really cool. I have this for all my thumbnails, and this is exactly the way it looks over here. As you guys can see, the dark shaded area here, and it just makes in general the thumbnail pop a lot more. And then what you're going to want to do next here is um, you're going to want to add some text. So when you add some text, all you're going to want to do is choose your favorite font. My favorite font is a bold font. And I'm just going to put in, let's just say, GTA 5 new DLC since there's a new DLC coming out. And all I'm going to do is just put it there. A lot of the time I don't really use the, the actual size thing over here. Let me show it to you guys. The actual text thing over here, the 173, I just go off a of scale, which I really like. And then, of course, you want to choose the color. So if they're using blue, I'll use blue. And from here, all I want to do is go down to effects. And when I'm once I'm down here, I'm just going to go to drop shadow. And you guys are going to want to copy everything I have here. Oh, look, who's that? Stez. Anyways, you guys are going to want to copy everything I have here. You're going to want to put the blend mode to multiply, opacity 100, distance 0, spread 50 size 15 and then you're going to want to move over to gradient overlay and for gradient overlay you're going to put it as normal and the opacity to 35 and the gradient you're going to want to make it your black and white gradient which is a stock gradient and that's pretty much really lucky for you guys because it's just a stock thing for style you're going to go to linear and angle a 90 degree angle and scale it's just 100 percent a lot of these things are just stock and then you're going to want to come over to inner glow and you guys are going to see that the GTA text is just going to pop right now. You ready? Bam. And then here, all you're going to do is just overlay instead in blend mode. It's overlay opacity 100. And then you're going to want to make sure it's a white color depending on what you want to do. I could always change this to kind of a blue color and you guys will see that it kind of messes with it. So you guys want to do whatever you want, but I want to make it shine on the inside. So I'm going to make it a white. The technique, I'm going to make it softer. And of course, source edge, size 10, and you guys are really doing well right now. And for me, I personally like adding a stroke just to feel safe. And the stroke is a 4, which isn't really too noticeable, but I mean, it works for me. And you guys could always add bevel and emboss or whatever that is. And I mean, it doesn't really make too much of a difference if you add it or not. And practically right here, you guys have a really good thumbnail. And what you're going to want to do next is kind of complicated because you're going to want to drag in a lot of stuff. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what that stuff is. So over here, the best settings, you guys are going to want to get this off, off of me and it's going to be a lot. You guys need to make sure that it's in this pattern exactly. So it's going to be kind of hard, but you guys just stick with me. So you're going to want to get brightness and contrast to brightness to contrast 40. You guys really need to make sure that you do that properly to make it all work out. 
and then here you're gonna want to go over to the gradient fill and you guys are gonna want to put it to gradient again black and white style linear angle 90 scale 100 align with layer and then over here for curves you guys are gonna want to just make sure that it's practically like that it's really hard to do it like that if you guys want me to I'll make a media fire link and then you guys can download just this part of the file so that way it's a lot easier for you guys but you guys I'm gonna show you guys what all of this does okay so I'm gonna move this over to my other file so you guys are gonna be able to see what it does to the background and why I really want you guys to get this in general it's not really distorting the picture it's not improving the picture it's just making it look finer okay so when I turn it on you guys will see that everything just turns a lot better I'm gonna zoom in just so that you guys could see okay let's zoom in on his face not too much wow that was way too much so you just go here okay so I'm gonna turn it off and you guys will see you see the color change in this it just makes it look sharper it makes the image look so much better it makes any and even the text it makes it look better and in general it just makes it look really nice overall and you guys could just make a you guys can like pop in a logo here for GTA 5 let me see if I have any logos so yeah my logos are pretty radical if you get what I'm saying so let's just no it's a GTA 4 so let's just look up GTA 5 oh that's awkward let's not talk about that that was a one-time thing I swear and then here you go to GTA logo and then you just minimize it make it smaller of course I like having mine's kind of small just in the corner and then you drag it over here and you do the exact same thing you did you add the drop shadow you guys might want to set it as the default you just make it default and it'll make it for that for any text that you want and then of course the gradient is just a little bit too much so I'm just gonna take that off and bam you guys have a really cool logo and of course this thumbnail is really bad there's like <laughs> there's I don't know what I did here so I could just put new DLC and then coming uh, May weather I don't know I'm really bad at finding what to say as I'm talking and here you're just gonna want to change the text you guys do have two different text options if you guys know how to use Photoshop but I'm just really lazy about having to go back to it and then here make it a little bit bigger I don't want it to match the length of the other one I want it to be smaller so that people read the big one and then they lead on to the white one and here pretty much the exact same thing all over again and then you guys have a really cool text so I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just because you know I want it to be eye-catching but not too much and the best thing to do here I'm gonna make this smaller and then once I make this smaller I can make them both come up at the same time here I'll show you guys so practically get both of those and then control on both of those whoops did not mean the logo this and then control and then con and then shift T and it'll just enlarge it equally and then you guys will see BAM that looks pretty you know good and then you just move it up and then you put some question marks you know doubt the people and stuff like that wow I really needed to burp there and you guys have a pretty good logo and everything set up so this is practically what my setup looks like I just have everything here and I just can turn off that shadow effect like I told you guys then I have my YouTube ending card right here and I just drag in the files there make it a, a PNG and then it's see through I have my logo right there for black ops you guys can barely see it down there because for some reason I turned down the opacity and I saved the file so there it is and yeah pretty much tell me down below if you guys want me to put this combination down there and I'll put it down for you guys as a download link and it'll just make your life easy overall and you guys I've already showed you guys how well this works so I could just go to best settings and if I move it up oh I can't okay if I move it up you guys will see that it's just gonna make everything look really nice so you guys will see the different color coloration there and it just overall makes any picture look nice look let's get another picture okay um, 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 um. I really don't why are there so many weird pictures here Okay, let's get this one. Is it full? Yeah, okay. So this one, let's see what it does to the cars. So if we put it in down here and we shift it in there, um, the cars still look kind of weird. Yeah, but you can see that it adds really nice color to it. It makes it darker. So if you guys ever blame me for crew color stuff like that, no, it makes it darker. It makes it look finer. It doesn't make it look brighter. 
so that explains a lot anyways guys hopefully you guys have a great day tell me down below if you guys want to see more tutorials like this tell me if you guys want to see how i edit my videos so that way you guys can learn how to edit your videos and stuff like that anyways guys have a great day remember to leave a like and a comment down below and i'll see you guys around and my peace guys